I was taught at a young age to never judge a book by its cover, even if the book is a prehistoric shark and the cover looks like this. As we start to delve into the world of fins and teeth, it's only right that we begin with one of the oldest lineages in the shark world. Order Hexanchiformis, the six-gilled sharks. This is a group of fishies that first show up in the evolutionary timeline during the early Jurassic period, roughly 195 million years ago. Today, this order is represented by two families, the cow sharks, and the stars of today's episode, the frilled sharks. A little spooky, kind of goofy, and incredibly mysterious. But what is a frilled shark? Where do they hang out? And why do they have such unique smiles? We'll find the answer to all those questions and more as we continue exploring the tree of life. The frilled shark's Latin name, Clemetocelicus anguineus, translates to eel-like shark with frills, and honestly, nailed it. The frills are actually gills. All six pairs of gill slits flare out more dramatically than other sharks, and the first pair is continuous around the entire throat, giving the frilled shark a slightly bobble-headed appearance. The overall structure is quite serpentine and even their behavior is more snaky than it is sharky. Frilled sharks cruise slowly through their environment, hovering in the water column like a balloon at the Macy's Day Parade. But when capturing prey or escaping danger, they quickly coil and strike forward with impressive speed that belies their clumsy appearance. Dissections of frilled shark stomachs have shown that their prey mostly consists of squid and fish, which are easier to grab and hang on to with those tri-tip snaggle teeth. Frilled sharks locate food using a tactic known as dial vertical migration, meaning they spend the daytime in very deep water, then migrate to the ocean's surface at night to feed. However, they never venture to the very surface unless they're sick or injured, preferring to stay within a range of 165 feet to 4,200 feet below sea level. Due to their wide jaw structure and floppy floppy throats, it's believed that frilled sharks swallow their prey whole. But their behavior is still very much a mystery, because no one has ever observed a frilled shark hunting. There have been very few human encounters with frilled sharks due to the depths in which they live and their overall rarity. And not much has been gleaned from researching captive specimens donated by fishermen, since they unfortunately struggle to survive under human care. The majority of what we know about frilled sharks has been learned by studying specimens that were accidentally caught by deep sea fishing vessels. There are two species of frilled sharks currently known to science, and thankfully, both are believed to have stable populations even though they're so rarely seen. They're assessed as least concerned by the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species. But the strangest thing about the frilled shark isn't its conservation status, nor is it its behavior. It's not even their appearance. It's their mothers. In 1990, a research paper was published by Japanese biologists investigating the reproduction and development of frilled sharks. Based on the growth rates of the embryos that were studied, the gestation period was estimated to be up to 42 months, the longest pregnancy of any vertebrate. A mama frilled shark will carry between 2 and 15 pups for up to 3 and a half years, and we must admire them for smiling all the way through it. Speaking of smiles, next week we meet the frilled shark's larger, more common, and frankly kind of adorable cousins, the cow sharks. Do you like frilled sharks? Do you like me? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Or if you don't have any friends, share it with your enemies. I'll see if they like it. And I'll see you next week. Until then, stay curious, stay connected, and never stop evolving.